I knew that there were sperm whales in Dominica. I don't remember how I found out they were there, but I know that people have been photographing them for decades, you know, maybe 15 or 20 years or even longer. And so it was no secret that there were sperm whales there. It was actually on wet pixel where I first saw images that made me really want to go to Dominica. We ended up applying for a permit to go document these sperm whales in Dominica and within a matter of months, we're there. Andrew Armour lives on Dominica and runs a whale tourism operation. He's got a love for these whales that goes far beyond just showing tourists uh, or giving tourists a two-hour encounter. I think maybe 15 years or so he's been swimming with these local sperm whales. He knows them all by name and in particular he knows Scar really well, which is the name that they've given this 10-year-old male sperm whale that, that they keep having encounters with. From the first time we met him, he was um, injured and he came up to the boat and we petted him and he seemed to have enjoyed the encounter. And after that, he would come back to the boat. And even now, he still comes back to the boat. And he still comes to us, especially now when we're in the water. He particularly likes the, the, the sort of the interaction between humans and himself. And he, he enjoys the contact, the touch. And in particular, Scar was one of the sperm whales that let us get the closest for the longest period of time. And um, actually when Scar swam up to us, it was hard for me to get far enough away to capture any in really interesting footage because he was so close. I think it's well known that sperm whales interact socially and we saw a lot of it. And I think we were very lucky because I don't think anyone really knows when they decide to come together to socialize. We had upwards of a dozen sperm whales together, and uh, these large females and, and juveniles. They were constantly rubbing up against each other, and they were um, clicking as well the whole time. And I guess it's called a coda, but these, these particular whales all clicked the same sequence. There was certainly some kind of uh, intangible communication with the whales. I mean, obviously we're not able to really communicate with them in a way that makes sense to us, but there was a lot of eye contact and the whales would certainly turn and look at us. For me, eye contact is a very different experience with whales than it is with other large animals, like big fish. But with these whales, when they look at you, you, you feel something. And for me, it was a really overwhelming experience to be in the water with them, a very emotional experience, you know, something that I, I don't have with sharks. I have excitement with sharks, but not that same sort of emotional experience. Ha <laughs> ha